Hey guys, welcome to Reddit Brew. We're back at it again with the Just No Mill Cruise Control Saga. So if you missed the other parts to this saga, I will link them in the pinned comment below. Let's see what Mill got up to today, shall we? Cruise Control made a sad attempt to have me sacked. I got a call this weekend from a woman who used to be my coworker at my old job. I left that job over two years ago for my current job, and since then, the old coworker has been promoted, and she would have been my boss if I still worked the same position. She told me that she'd gotten a strange phone call from a person who was concerned about a horrible person like me being employed at workplace. I asked her to describe the person who was calling. She said, it sounded like a woman's voice and she was very weepy. Yep, that's cruise control. I gave my old coworker the Cliff Notes version and she said that she knew something was fishy about the call because the woman pretended to be a stranger to me and then shared details that made it clear that she knew me. She also refused to give a name and asked repeatedly for an email address so she could send evidence to. I'm very intrigued about what this evidence could be, but I'm not going to ask my old co worker to give out any more contact info to someone known to harass people. Old co-worker did two very nice things for me. One, she never actually told cruise control that I no longer worked there. And two, she volunteered to pass along any communication she receives from cruise control without me even asking. My old co-worker had a stalker when I worked there, so she knows the drill. Hell, the drill was written for her. She will help me out if I need it. I'm I'm not happy that cruise control is trying to sabotage me, but I'm glad that it was intercepted by someone who isn't actually my boss and is too smart to fall for that kind of bullshit. My husband and I have decided that it's cease and desist time. Eventually, cruise control will remember that she could easily Google me and she'd find my actual workplace, which is easily searchable. So we want to nip this in the bud now. Cruise control is on my f***ing porch. Happy flipping birthday to me. We're having a very scary thunderstorm right now. I would bet my life savings that cruise control checked the forecast and tried to predict the worst time to show up. If there's lightning, we just have to let her in, right? My husband and I were having a very low-key birthday dinner. Just us. The bigger family gathering will be this weekend. She knows that we make the same meal every year on my birthday, so we wouldn't be at a restaurant. She showed up, banged on the door, and started screaming that we have to let her in, or she'll die of the cold. It was over 80 degrees today, and it can't be less than 70 right now. And, uh... She has a car and can leave at any time. She's still out there. She's screaming and acting like a lunatic. I don't know what to say to the police when they show up. Officer, she'll tell you that she wanted to wish me a happy birthday, but I don't want her in my house because she tried to get me fired and she ruined the last party she crashed. Update, police are here. The police officer asked if we would mind taking this inside because it's raining really badly and it's hard to hear anything. My husband said, you may come in but she may not. They're standing in the front entry talking. Update two, it was pretty anticlimactic. One officer came inside to talk to my husband and the other officer stayed outside to talk to cruise control. The other officer just let her get into her car and leave before the other was finished talking to us. He opened the door and her car was gone. I went to bed mad and didn't eat any cake. Update three, my husband is going to get a copy of the police report. The cease and desist was already going to happen, but now the wording is going to be changed to reflect this incident. I was starting to feel bad about sending a cease and desist, but now I don't. Side note, my birthday wasn't ruined. My husband brought me a latte and a cookie on my lunch break to make up for my lack of sleep. We're having a birthday dinner on the weekend with my family and his family, minus CC, so that'll be my chance for a do-over. Update four, no, I don't live in Massachusetts. 
Life has been nuts. Cruise control has been nuttier. First of all, I would like to take back everything I ever said about the stupid ring doorbell. It's fall, and I live in a state where the leaves are finally starting to drop. It's also really windy. My damn phone has been going off several times a day because of the wind and leaves. I tried changing the sensitivity settings, and it has been reduced. But Jesus Christ, it's been annoying. We finally, finally had a CND drafted and sent. It took longer than expected for reasons I won't bore you with. That was a while ago, and she was actually silent for weeks. Then, she started again with leaving stuff on our porch. Always at an hour when we'd be at work, and always in a weird tone that implies that we still talk to her. We get no more than one or two things a week on the porch, which apparently means it's not harassment. We spoke to a super helpful, sarcasm, police officer who told us that he can't arrest someone for leaving stuff on the porch occasionally. He asked us if we wanted to have all the people who distribute flyers arrested. The most recent packet from her was a bunch of clippings of recipes. She had a note in there asking us to mark which ones we want her to make for Thanksgiving. I can't tell if she's delusional or if she's putting on an act hoping that we won't dare to disappoint her. Cruise control has done the pretend I believe I'm invited and they have to invite me thing many times before, so I'm leaning towards that. She uses this tactic so often that we have a nickname for it, which I can't actually share because it has her name in it. All the crap she leaves goes in our file and is scanned and saved digitally as well. I just say that because I know it'll be suggested in the comments a lot. We're talking about moving house. It might be nice to be a little closer to my parents. We said we'd make our decision on that by December because we'd like to have the house on the market in spring if we can. The house will be empty for Thanksgiving and I'm a bit worried about that. I have a feeling cruise control will show up. We have neighbors who have agreed to keep an eye out and call the police if they have to. My husband and I wrote a letter to give to the neighbors in case they have to call the police. The letter is pretty much, we are the homeowners, we asked neighbor to watch the house. If this woman, pick of cruise control, claims to live here or be invited, it is a lie. Also, here's a copy of the cease and desist we sent to her to show how serious we are about her staying away from us. We told the neighbor only to bother calling if cruise control is damaging property or trying to get inside. If she just cries on the porch, whatever. Enjoy your turkey and ignore her. I really hope that cruise control doesn't ruin Thanksgiving for the neighbors. Okay, firstly, that cop is a useless moron. A person that you have a cease and desist in place with, leaving things on your doorstep is harassment. She's not just a solicitor. She's targeting these people specifically, which would constitute as harassment. No? I would 100% be reporting that officer. Secondly, ruin Thanksgiving? Hardly. It would be a dinner theme if cruise control showed up. Dinner and a show. I would be thrilled to be OP's neighbor and to be able to watch that lunatic from my dining room window. Am I right? <laughs> And third, always in a weird tone that implies that we still talk to her. Okay, so either Mill really is this delusional that she's made an alternate reality in her mind in which OP and OP's husband still talk to her and everything is fine. Or OP's husband is still talking to his mother behind OP's back. Both are equally as possible. At this point though, with all these little clues, I really do think Opie's husband is talking to his mom still. I would be so surprised if he's not at this point. We will of course find that out in the next parts, but what do you guys think? Do you think Opie's husband is lying? Cause I do. But that is all for me today. I hope you're enjoying this saga so far. If you are, please leave a like and subscribe if you want. I truly appreciate when you do, and I will see you in the next Reddit story. Bye!